Hello everyone, this is Richard Sis, but it's Mac Cats here. And I want to talk about spirituality and animals. There has been a few things on YouTube that you can see about things like that a little bit, but it's not enough. I've came up with my own theories about the animals and how they live and how they exist in the afterlife. Uh, uh, what I want to talk about specifically is if animals can remember and if they have a life review and if they feel remorse for the actions that they do in, in the living uh, world. And the thing is, though, is that uh, the animals, what I've come to realize through my theories and ideas is that the animals do have life reviews and they do feel some remorse a little bit about what they've done. The thing is, though, is that this is the thing is that the animals don't know what they're doing when they're alive. They're like children, you know, uh, they just kind of act on impulse on things. Uh, cats are very impulsive. When they pass away, they end up, when they're living, they don't know what they're doing, but when they pass away, they look in the life review and they realize what, what just occurred to them. It's a realization. The cool thing is that the animals are able to understand and comprehend what their owners say to them. That's the coolest thing, is that the animals, when they're alive, they can't understand um, the actions or the reasons behind the actions and reason why they take them to the vet or when an animal gets hurt, hit by a car or gets injured in a fight, a, a, a human comes up, a random human, which is just a nice person or animal ca uh, catcher, comes and take them to the, the vet to get fixed up, to get healed up. At the time, the animal fights back, but when they pass away and, you know, at the time they fight back and, and, and the human, as humans, you know, we talk to the animal. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. The animal doesn't know what we're saying. But when the when animal dies, a dog or a cat or any bird, they hear those words and they comprehend those words. And they recognize what those words mean, what it means. They feel the impact of the emotions, spiritual, uh, spiritual thoughts and, and intentions of what occurred to them. They finally realize, oh, this person was trying to help me. Oh, this person said this. This is what he said. Calm down. Everything's going to be nice. At the time, the animal didn't know that. But when they die in the life review, they understand that. And that's the thing is that they comprehend. Whenever you sit down and lay with your pet, your cat or your dog, and you're talking to the dog or cat and saying nice things to you and all this stuff, you don't know. The dog doesn't understand. But when they pass away, they finally can really hear what the owner was saying and what the, the intent of what they were saying meant through the emotional energy and just they understand the comprehension, the dialect of the language. They understand it and it's very impactful. So the animals see their life review and they understand the impact of their life and the interactions of humans. At the time when they're alive, they don't. So the, the animals do live a real good life and they end up, that's what I believe, that's my theory and I think it is correct that the animals do can and communicate with the humans. And it's a very interesting thing. It's a very uh, powerful thing to have this, you know, uh, to have to realize that the animals, even slugs and bugs, you know, when they're being, when uh, a spider scares somebody, a spider doesn't hear, doesn't understand the language of the human. But when they pass away, you know, they scare them and say, oh no, oh no, oh no. You know, but when the spider passes away, and they see their life review. Yes, bugs have life reviews. They hear the language and they understand the dialect and the language. Oh, I scared this person. Oh, that's what this person said. It's like they become one with the consciousness of the afterlife. And so that's a very powerful thing is that, yes, the animals do have life reviews. And the animals, at the time of their life, they don't understand. But when they pass away, they understand. They understand what you said to them. They understand what your intentions were. They understand... They understand where, what the vet means and why it meant to do this or do that or go there. Or when a family member passes away, the animal or cat doesn't understand. Or the animal or cat doesn't understand when their little kitten or their brother or sister dog or animal passes away. They kind of understand, but when they die, when they die, they understand. They understand everything just like a human would when they die. And so that's the thing, man. 
is that that's just the very powerful, powerful thing, the impact that we have on people. It's a very, very, very powerful thing. Yeah, and we and have the impact on each other. So just remember that when you're petting your dog, when you're treating you, when you're cleaning your cats, when you're petting your cat and you're laying at home and you're talking to them and all that, when you're talking to your animals, they will understand you when they pass on. So you don't have to worry about that. Right now they don't. And they don't really care. But that's the life that they chose to live as spirits. They chose to live as an animal. But when they pass away, that's when they clicks. It finally just clicks, you know. And everything just becomes connected. Everything just works. It's the same thing as a human. It's the same way that a human gets in, uh, emotionally impacted in the life review. They see everything for what it is. The animals and, and the insects, they see it for what it is. So yes, the animals, they are aware of uh, the afterlife as, as equally as, as, as a human would when a human passes away. So it, that's the thing, you know. It's a very powerful thing that we can do these days. So just remember that you have to have a positive influence on people around you. And you have to have a positive influence on the on the animals that you have because when you when you interact with an animal incorrectly when you hurt an animal they feel that and they feel the impact of your aggression of your negative intention you know so you have to be very very careful with how you project your energy and how you treat animals because you're gonna feel it too when you hurt the animal that emotion is gonna project on you you're gonna feel the animal and the animal is gonna feel you so you're exchanging emotions and your life reviews, you're going to see his pain and he's going to see your anger. Do you want it? Do you really want that exchangement to, to occur? No. So that's the thing is you have to be very careful with how you interact with the world around you. So you have to be very, very careful with that. Take care. Just remember, be careful with how you interact with people. Treat people right because you're going to exchange each other's emotions if you don't treat each other right in the life review, do you really want the person to feel your anger or your sadness or frustration or aggression? And do you want to feel the pain that you inflict on that person or animal? It, 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 if you hurt the animal or a person real bad, you're going to feel that horrible emotion and action. So it's up to you if you want to go through the nightmarish pain of what you cause others. So this is Rick Says Biz. Take care. God bless. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was very fun. And I hope you understand that the impact you have on people around you, humans or animals or not, really does affect both of you get involved in each other's life review. So there you go, guys. Take care. Dabble on that for a while.